Hi all, this is my first video. I'm going to play around with car coils. They are fun to play with and you can learn a lot just playing around. Let's have a look at my setup. Here's one battery, the standard 12 volt battery. I've got hooked up a voltmeter. It will be blinking because of the high voltage but just look past that. There's a 1 ohm resistor over here, so the meter will be showing millivolts. It's in the millivolt range automatically. And it will show the milliamps it is drawing. And of course, effect the millivolts we are losing, but it's not much, you will see. I've got a simple setup. I've got two transistors, um, PNP if I'm correct. I've got one diode here to uh, keep them alive because there would be a lot of HV pulsing. Um, what's this? This is the standard, I would almost say car, car coil, but in fact it's from a motorbike, but who cares? I've got a couple of them and in some way, well, they always make me think of frogs. I don't know why. You can make it up for yourself. Um, this car coil here, it's hooked up to the plus directly. Any minus is coming back pulsed, pulsated. Uh, in fact, it's a karcher uh, or kacher, however you call it, uh, configuration because the high voltage here is directly coupled with a small resistor. To the base and this is uh, well some sort of Darlington uh, schematic so this is just to get this thing running and pulsing. What am I going to do with this high voltage? The other one is not wireless no but it's going into an AV plug uh, what's called an Avram Avranco plug if I'm correct and then well basically I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine uh, capacitors uh, all in series so we start with this one here HV comes in minus goes in here and there we go 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 all the way to the last one it's lying around because it's it's round <laughs> it doesn't stand up um, and there's just one wire more it's here I'm always using the yellow and green one for earth. So this is my earth connection. It's a rod, uh, two meter copper pipe driven into the ground. And it's making quite a good contact. This um, bank of capacitors is in fact hooked up with one wire here. Then it goes back via my spark plug to the other one. So in fact, this is just a bunch of capacity and at, as soon as the voltage is high enough it will jump across the spark gap to this car coil. And nice thing is that um, in fact the car coil should be working on 12 volt but the Pulsing uh, high voltage is, I think, a lot more. Beware, um, this is going to make a lot of noise. But, uh, well, let's see what it's going to do. Maybe I have to start it up because it's uh, a cartridge, so sometimes you will need to start it up. Well, not today. What you can hear now, uh, there in the distance, is the coil doing its job. Well, I, let's have a look. You can see what's happening over there. I dare say it's rather noisy. Have a look at the milliamp draw. I'm not sure if it's visible or not, so hmm, there's a focus problem here. Sorry for that. Let me focus. Oh well, it says 160 
approximately. And where is the HV? Well, I've got a tube. Um, and, well, you can see there is HV everywhere. Over here. No need to say it's over here. Notice I'm slowing down the spark. Uh, by the way, the spark is somewhere in here. I'm sorry, but it's very faint. Maybe or maybe not you can see it. I'm still drawing not much of an amp. It's uh, 135. And well, I just like playing with it. Uh, because well, it's a simple setup. Just a couple of wires. Well, that's what I make of it. Um, I've tried several things. If we uh, were to remove the earth, things will slow down. The amp draw is only, well, about 100 milliamps now. The battery, I think it's charged fully, so it'll be about uh, 13 volts, something like that. And the earth, Round, whatever. Um, well, it seems not to influence a great deal, which is rather strange because it did in my previous setup. But hey, we are here to learn, and well, I'd better not. I would better not touch this one because. I did it before and uh, it pinches a little bit. Um, here is the earth connection. Let's see what will happen if we are to connect it. This bulb. Okay. So now, uh, as, like you can hear, it's frequency going down. The light is sliding up and I'm drawing about 70 milliamps. I know you can't see, but I will tell. Which is not bad, not bad at all. Um, can I play around with this? Yes, I can. I can actually take one of these wires and lower the capacitance like this. Well, it doesn't do me any good, uh, because now the draw is about 100 milliamps. The frequency is uh, 1 hertz, I don't know. You do can see the pulsing now, the, the, the spark, because of course I've got a lot higher spark. They are no longer in series. Let's put them back in series, because I like to have a highest frequency. Um, amp draw is again rather low, 70, 80 milliamps, really not bad, but what I do think is that the, it should go faster than this, because I know it can, maybe I should close the spark gap even more, I'm closing the spark gap as I'm doing now. And yes, 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 it's really going now. Amp draw, it's acceptable, 145 milliamps, let's say 150. And I can light up this bulb here, it doesn't do anything with the amp draw, because it says, uh, well, 140 now, 120. But it doesn't change at the moment. I'm connecting. So, well, that's just, just lovely to play with. Um, I've tried several setups, like um, putting the coils um, in series with each other. Well, I can show that rather easily just by connecting this one. I know I'm playing with high voltage, so I better be careful. Well now, as you can see, um, 
it ain't much, so I would uh, do a lot better if I would open up the spark gap a little bit. But then again, um, that, that's too much of a job for now. Okay, simple setup, not much uh, you need. Car battery, uh, a couple of capacitors, car coil. By the way, uh, you can use and play with uh, other coils as well. I can uh, hook up uh, an, an MOT if you would like, a mod, and it will work almost as good, but the resistance of the car coil is really very low, of course, because it's just a couple of windings. Um, I would say a car coil is in fact like a Tesla coil. Um, it's very well isolated, really very well. I can place really high voltages on it and it will still work. Okay, being my first video, um, I will leave it at this. I'll try to put my setup on the floor because my workbench, have a look, that's really, well, I wouldn't say workable. Um, oh, and I'm already uh, doing more than 10 minutes, so I have to go now. Bye.